Well, imagine seeing a video of what appears to be Elon Musk outlining how to become extremely rich, only to find out it's completely fake. Deep fake videos are now one of the most dangerous online threats right now. And in the past couple of months, these AI-generated videos have multiplied, causing billions of dollars in fraud. And this morning, our I-team reporter Brian New reveals the new technology behind this new way of deception. Hello, my name is Elon Musk. Today I would like to introduce you to Quantum AI. I saw it on Facebook, and then I saw it on TikTok. Do you want to earn from $5,000 a month? And I kept seeing it play over and over again. Quantum AI is a vision created to help people. Heidi Swan, a 62-year-old healthcare worker, thought it sounded and looked like a smart investment. Looked just like Elon Musk, sounded just like Elon Musk, and I thought it was him. And so she contacted the company behind the pitch and opened an account for more than $10,000. You thought you were investing in cryptocurrency. Right. But Swan had been scammed. Her money had vanished. the University of North Texas in Denton. <laughs> Professor Christopher Murdo is also using artificial intelligence, but he's using it to create art. AI, it's not going to replace the creative arts, but it's going to just uh, augment them and, and change the way that we understand the things that we can do within the sphere of, of creativity. Murdo says this technology can be used for innovation as well as deception. Bordeaux says advances in the technology are making it easier to create a deep fake video. In fact, he says he can make a deep fake with just a single still image and by recording a video. So we asked Professor Mirdo if he could take this video and swap out my face and voice for that of Elon Musk's. And this is what he came up with. I could say I know how to make you incredibly rich, or I guarantee you that the Dallas Cowboys will win the Super Bowl this year. These AI-generated videos are hardly perfect, but they just need to be convincing enough to deceive an unsuspecting victim. According to a leading financial research group, AI-generated content contributed to more than $12 billion in fraud losses last year and could reach $40 billion in the U.S., by 2027. So once you realized that this was a scam, did you go back and watch any of these videos? I did. I went back and watched them, but even though going back and watching them, they still look like Elon Musk. They still sound like Elon Musk. I didn't know it could be as real as that. And it is. Wow. It is such a scary new world that we're chills. living in. I, yeah. I, I mean, Brian, I, we all are on social media way too many hours a day, but we often spend just seconds looking at content. So Absolutely. how do we spot when something is fake? Yeah, so sometimes there's an obvious sign of a deep fake, mm -hmm. right? Like yeah. you'll see the unnatural lip movement sure. or odd body language. But as this technology improves, it's getting harder and harder to spot a deep fake simply with the naked eye. Hmm. So this morning, we want you to, to watch a video of okay. Elon Musk, and we want you guys to tell us whether you think that it's real or a deep fake. Okay, okay. let's do it. Look. Let's watch it. Uh, it's an honor to be here, um, and um, we're having a really, really great time uh, with me, my kids in, in Dubai. All right, pretty short, mm. short clip there. So okay. what did you think? I think it's real. You think it's real? I think it's real, too. You yeah. think it's real, too? Looks I've legitimate. never seen that clip, by the way. Neither so I. we actually took this clip and we tested it using these online deep fake mm -hmm. detector tools that are out there. We actually, there was five of them. So I want to tell you the results of these, these tools online. Three of them reported that no, there was no deep fake detected. Mm -hmm. One of them found the video to be quote, very suspicious. Another indicated that it was 99% sure that the video was AI generated. Wow. So, so now knowing those, now knowing that, uh -huh. I'll give you a chance to, to change your answer if you want. I'm still gonna say it's real. I'm gonna say it's real too. I didn't see any unfamiliar or strange like lip movement or, or eyes twitching or anything like that. The body language looked normal. Yeah. 
I didn't see anything strange. All right, well, you guys nailed it. It was actually oh, a real, real, okay. real video. Okay. We tried to well, trip you up a little bit. But the concern is. Yeah, it's that, telling. Yeah, the concern is it's not just being able to detect a deep fake, but it's also knowing what is true. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things that we noticed with these online deep fake detector tools. So tonight at 10, we actually put several of these, five of wow. these online tools to the test, and we'll share with you our results. And it is telling that out of the five, three decided one way, two decided another, one of them deciding 99% yeah. sure that it was, act yeah. I mean, that's it's what blows hard. my mind is that there's not even a consensus with the detection software. Yeah, and, and that is, that's a concern too, because you may watch it and you may, your instinct may be, hmm, I think this is real or a deep yeah. fake, and then you put it through one of these tools and that may, may lead you astray. Wow. wow. Brian, thank you so much, yeah. especially you were on 10 o'clock last night and you woke up <laughs> early just to come on with of us. Course, we appreciate anytime. you. Of course. So if you have any tips or questions for the I-Team and Brian, uh, you can contact them at the number right here on your screen or email them at iteam at ktvt.com.